Hello, my name is Atticus and I am a librarian at Solano Community College and I am going to help you navigate Gale Virtual Reference Library or GVRL as it might be referred to in different class settings. Once you access Gale from your, the library webpage or through Canvas, um, however you're accessing Gale, once you log in with your MySolano username and password, you'll come to Gale's homepage. Now, right now, Gale looks like this. So this will be the page that you encounter if you are logging in August of 2020. This page may change over time. Web pages get updated all the time, but I don't want you to get hung up on that. The components or the main characteristics of the page will remain the same. What I mean by that is there will be a search bar, there will be an advanced search option. There will be a navigation bar on the side with different topic areas to explore. And there might be some source suggestions somewhere on the page. So even if this looks slightly different in the future, you're always going to have a search bar, a navigation sidebar, and sources in the mix, okay? so. You'll want to start with the search bar if you are interested in a topic. Now, Gale is a great database to use when you're starting out your research. It is equivalent to Wikipedia. So Gale is a collection of online encyclopedias that give you general information about topics. So some of Gale's entries can be in depth. They can run up to 30 pages but they're not peer-reviewed academic research journal articles. Again, this is background information about a topic. So when you're just getting started in your research and you have an idea of what you want to search for, but you may not know all of the ins and outs of the topic before really diving in, Gale is a really great starting out point. For now, I am going to do a sample search right here in the basic search function. I'm going to type out gun control. And you can see that Gale is trying to help me be more specific. So they're giving me search suggestions, mostly having to do with the legal aspects, the laws, the legislation about gun control. But I want to keep it simple for this example, so I'm just going to click right on search for gun control in general. And you'll see my results come up here. Right from the results page, you will be given useful information about these sources. So let's say you're interested in the very first result that comes up. It was from this encyclopedia. It was published in 2018. It's 30 pages long and it's a topic overview. So once you click into this, you'll see you have options right off the bat. At the top of the source page, you'll have a citation option. You can send the source to your email or to someone else. You can download the source as a PDF right here, or you can just jump straight into reading it. And like we said, it was 30 pages long, so this is going to be very in-depth, including some statistical data as well. But you will not find many arguments here. It's going to give you an overview of the topic, but this isn't a study, a case study, a survey. It's not going to be that type of information. You'll also see that Gail is trying to help you explore this topic more, again, giving you related subjects or more entries that are similar to this one. So I'm going to go back to our results page because I want to show you their advanced search option. Again, this is going to be the main one of the main characteristics of Gale. No matter how it's updated in the future, you're always going to have a basic search bar and, and an advanced search option. So if I go to advanced search, and now you can type in more topic options. So I started with gun control. I can type in gun control and maybe I want 
popular opinion. Or maybe I want popular culture. I saw that come up, so I'm using Gail's suggestions to help me identify what I'm really looking for. I'm going to select search. And here you are, firearms from the St. James Encyclopedia of Popular Culture. It's a little dated, 2013, but it's three pages long. And again, it's a topic overview. I also forgot to mention that your search results are sorted by relevance. So the top search results, these two are very related to what we are looking for based on our search terms and were used by other people the most often. So you can see here from our list, there's only four results, but the bottom two, just based on their titles, I can tell are not exactly what we are looking for. They're kind of off topic, but the top two, you know, Gail is pretty good at sorting by relevance and keeping it to what you are looking for. There's also one more feature I wanted to go over in the advanced search characteristic. Again, this is a tool that is going to remain in Gale. Even if the layout of the web page for Gale looks different, you're always going to be able to do an advanced search, a subject guide search, or a topic finder. I'm going to show you subject guide search because here you can see that if we were to do an example pollution, as a topic we're interested in. But we also know that we want, let's say, statistical data. We can click here on document type and just look for statistical data to see if Gail has a encyclopedia that is primarily focused on statistics. So going through here, I have it right here, statistical data. I'm looking for data on pollution and I'm going to click on search. And here you see how many results they have and on related topics to pollution. So let's say I want to look at air pollution, statistical data on air pollution. And here we have a source that could be useful to us. Another useful tool, as I mentioned, is the Topic Finder. The Topic Finder is a great tool to really help you visualize other areas of a general topic that you can go to to be more specific. So let's go back to our original example, gun control. So I know I'm interested in gun control. I'm going to hit search on the topic finder and Gail is going to help me, help direct me to a more specific keyword term. So we have gun control. This is the most often other keyword used, United States, Americans, gun control, crime, law, industry. Let's say I'm interested in the law. I'll click into here. And now I'm getting more search terms that I can potentially use to be more specific in what I'm looking for. And here again, we have uh, source results that I can just follow. Again, this is a useful tool to help maybe uh, someone who is more visual about how they're researching and how they're trying to navigate their research topic. Again, you always want to start with the most general topic like we did and let the database help you narrow down something more specific that's interesting to you. So that's Gail. Um, I hope this tutorial was helpful. You can always uh, email Solano Community College Library and a librarian such as myself or any of my other colleagues will be happy to help you navigate Gale if uh, I missed something in this video. Thank you for watching.